Hey everyone, we noticed there were a couple clips going around of my opponent and uh, we wanted to take the time to address some of those clips because they have a lot of important issues in them. You know, my opponent won't debate me, so this is the best way we think for me to get my views out there, a candidate who's solutions oriented and fights for everyone, and the views of my opponent, a candidate who is a career politician. So we ask that you judge us on our issues, go to his website, go to my website, ask us questions. Uh, but for right now, while I'm making lunch, uh, you can go ahead and check out what he had to say. So what is it? We have to have more tests? Or now that we are, oh, my dear, the president's failed us because we're testing more and they're more positive. So yes, we need more tests, right? I mean, I think everyone understands that testing is a good way to figure out whether you do or don't have the virus. Um, but really, why should we stop trying to figure out who's sick just because you think it's inconvenient for the numbers? Since I came in today, I saw a gentleman running on the sidewalk. There was no one within 100 yards of the guy, yet he was wearing a mask while running. So, for a guy that's all about individual freedom and choice, I find it a little interesting that he's really coming down on this poor runner. Uh, also, I think we all understand how running works, right? I mean, you move and he might be around someone else later. Social isolation, which has devastating healthcare consequences, can come to an end if we open up and Americans can get back to work, feed their families, pay their rents, and save for their kids' college. So, I actually have no argument against uh, a reopening in that sense. And I have no argument against the fact that there are mental effects uh, that we need to worry about with isolation. Uh, but it's just about being safe. Wear a mask. It's not that hard. It's like wearing a seatbelt when you decide to go out and drive. Not everyone likes it. Some people do but you all do it because you know it's right and you know it saves lives. That's what a mask is like. So in this next clip, my opponent's gonna give you a lot of excuses to why he shouldn't have to wear a mask despite being in public and despite not knowing who's gonna walk by him. Uh, while he does that, I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to put on a mask and how much time he could have saved and done other things for us. Uh, it, uh, the uh, CDC has said six foot social distancing, you don't need a mask. We are six feet apart. We don't need a mask. When I came in today, I put my mask on because I walked past people. Now that I'm in a seat, you are, I don't need a mask. You are a scientist. Yes, sir. You are a physician. A clinician, yes, sir. I would love for us to abide by the attending physician's recommendations. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. I think most people will see the ridiculous hypocrisy in that. And that sums it up. Ridiculous hypocrisy is the exact reason why I'm putting this video out there. You know, he could have focused on talking about the findings from the GAO, which is a nonpartisan institution, could have maybe yielded his time to other people to have more time to ask questions to the Comptroller General, and instead just decided to focus on some petty fight about masks. Look, I'm tired of this. I'm sure many of you are too. Most of us do not have the time to pick these petty fights. Most of us have to either cook lunch, or get things ready for our family, or make sure, in my wife's case, that they're on the front line fighting COVID on a daily basis. We don't have the luxury to have dumb fights in Congress, and that's why I'm running, to make things better, to bring things back to a civil stage, and make sure we're actually putting legislation out there that moves us forward. So go to our website, kieranforcongress.com, check out our issue positions, and support us if you can. Thanks.